Hey guys, uh, I'm Tony Lyons. Uh, I run the blog compositingmentor.wordpress.com. Hopefully soon to just be compositingmentor.com. Um, and I've been gone for a little bit, uh, for a few months. I've been working on some side projects that I'll be bringing to you guys soon, and one of which was uh, really trying to nail down my next tutorial, which is keying. And uh, keying is a super, uh, you know, common task for compositing. Everybody does it, and I feel like a lot of the core concepts really go, uh, they get glazed over in a lot of other keying tutorials that I've seen. They usually focus on tools rather than concepts or techniques, and uh, I'm going to really try to focus on the actual concept of keying and why uh, different sections are uh, and very important. And so, back in the day when I was learning keying, I noticed that there were three distinct uh, sections that you should focus on when doing a good key. Um, the first of which is the alpha, or the, the uh, black and white image, the mat, um, and pulling the actual key. The second is the despell process, uh, removing the green uh, and making making the green screen almost look a little bit more like your background. And the third is the merge operation that you do, uh, and how to blend those two uh, background and uh, your subject, how to blend those together. Um, this is going to be a long video. I'm going to go very in depth into all these different uh, areas, and then at the end, I'm going to show you uh, how to bring all these sections together and use them cohesively into a script. And uh, I'll do a real world, world example and walk you through that script. Um, I'm going to break this video up into uh, four sections. Uh, this is just the introduction and then I'll, I'll do a video on the alpha, do a video on the dispo, and do a video on, on the merge operation. And then a last video to just wrap all that stuff up um, and, and show you guys how to use all those together once you've gotten each section uh, to the best that you possibly can get it, and the theory that is the theory is that if you if you succeed in pulling the best possible mat or key and getting the best alpha and then also getting the best despill that you can and using the the smartest merge operation that you can, uh, if you do all of those correctly, then you will get the best key that you really can with that image. Um, and so I'm going to really be teaching you guys what to look for. Uh, and why it's good, or, or what makes it, um, you know, a good uh, technique to use for each of these sections, and what you're looking for. So, uh, just some of the sections, some of the some of the topics that are going to be in alpha are keying, uh, roto. Those are both just your basic, like making a mat. Uh, how you're going to want a core mat, which I've also uh, heard as holdout mat. Um, an edge mat or soft key for say for the edges and hair you're going to want both of those a core and an edge I'm going to go a little bit over uh, gray matting or soft keying which is basically the concept that uh, your keys don't always have to be just black and white uh, you can actually have gray values you can just have uh, your 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 image be 50% gray uh, where it's supposed to be black and that's really useful for uh, glass or reflections on glass if you're trying to keep like these little dirts on the windows or such uh, or even if you're trying to key hair um, that can be super useful too to use gray matting it's it's uh, it's often something that people get freaked out because they think uh, um, you know images have to be black and white when, when they're dealing with the king and it's not true um, combining mats uh, I know a lot of people have a little uh, difficulty uh, combining different keys which is which is really essentially the you're always going to be pulling multiple keys uh, on on an image. Uh, if you ever have hair, you should just automatically consider hair uh, its own key uh, that you either roto in or or what have you. Um, I'm going to be teaching you an IBK stack technique, and it's a it's an IBK uh, keyer with a, a specific technique I thought was really useful when I learned it, and it gives you a really good result. Um, uh, you can also key using a despill tool, which I always thought was interesting, and uh, I'll be showing you that, which kind of goes into gray matting and soft skinning. But uh, I'll, I'll tell you about that, and uh, feathering tools and different feathering tools, why you want to use it, and, uh, and such. So then we move on to the despill process, and uh, this, this often goes overlooked and uh, is not talked about too much in other tutorials. And uh, 
in my opinion, the despo process or removing all the green or removing all the blue if you're doing the blue screen, that is one of the most important aspects of the keying process. So uh, removing all the spill and subject uh, and you, you're wanting to turn the green screen pixels into uh, color value that, that is similar to your background or even is, is receiving uh, luminance or color information from your background. So turning your, your greens or your blues into an image that already looks like your background will, will automatically help uh, the key once you put it over or mix it in and combine it with your final image. Um, now you're going to want to do a core despill and an edge despill similar how you would do a core key and an edge key. Um, a lot of times uh, the pixels uh, if, if you're blending the edges correctly, you know, some of the colors inside, like skin tones and such, will, will get a little uh, magenta or, or sometimes yellows. If you're having, like, to key a yellow shirt or, or something, it will get uh, a little orange, and colors will just do some weird things. So you're going to want to do a core despill to keep the original colors as much as you can and just get rid of spill. And then an edge despill, which is more like you're blending the pixels with the background. Um, so... I'm going to talk about bring, bringing the luminance back uh, in pixels. I, I see a lot of people really, uh, really slamming the luminance down on some of their um, some of their D spills, and that introduces a lot of noise and a lot of grain where uh, where the grain in the image is, um, and so that's bad. So we want to want to keep the luminance as close as the original that we can. Um, using key light to D spill, a lot of people don't don't realize that key light is actually an amazing D spill. So I'll teach you guys how to do that. It's really simple, and it gives one of the best results of, uh, of despilling that I know of. And uh, I'll go over some other despill tools, like the Luma despill tool, which is available on Wikipedia, and it's a super powerful tool. There are other tools out there, uh, Despill Madness, for example, and a few other despillers. Um, they all use very similar algorithms. So you may think you have the best despiller. Maybe you do. Uh, what I'm trying to do is how to use that uh, as best as you can. So I'm not n not so much the tools, but the actual what you're looking for in in your G school. Uh, and then lastly, the merge operation. Uh, I'm going to go over basic merge, uh, add mix, which I think scares a lot of people because they don't know how it's really used. And uh, once you learn what's going on behind the scenes, it's really simple to use. And uh, by default, it is a merge over. So it's almost silly not to use it because it's more like it's like a merge with more options. Um, uh, so I'm going to go over blending your your background using your background uh, to blend with the green screen edges, and that is essentially um, grabbing the luminance from the background and either pushing the the pixels lighter or darker based off the luminance of the background, which can really help in uh, you know laying in your your edges and uh, really getting them in there. So um, I'm going to include light wrap in this uh, because I think that has to do with the background as well and that can improve your key so much if you have like a bright screen behind your character or subject. Um, keeping track of bounding boxes, I know a lot of those go kind of crazy and uh, I think that's a good uh, you know, habit to get into is keeping track of that sort of thing as well as pre-multiplication, uh, what that is, why it goes wrong, why you get dark edges sometimes and really uh, how that it, that's usually an error that happens uh, from color corrections and from matching blacks and stuff that can be a, a pre-multiplication can be a result of, of doing uh, some poor habits so I'm trying to get you guys aware of that and uh, adjusting alphas before the merge and uh, that is just throwing a couple gammas uh, gamma corrections or what have you on an alpha channel before you merge it and only affecting the alpha and uh, that kind of goes with the ad mix, but uh, I'll just go over what that all does. And uh, finally, I'm just going to make a video where it takes all these and it uh, puts them together in a script that I've made. Um, and one of the best ways, uh, one of the best layouts, I think, that you that you can use to key. And uh, I'll include the template and uh, the tutorial script with it. So the tutorial script is going to have uh, a lot of little sticky, sticky notes with the uh, descriptions of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, uh, what's going on, uh, the reasoning behind it, the concepts behind it, and then just a blank script um, with a, a, a way less descriptions that you can use as more of like a template so that you can do it on your own uh, for whatever uh, whatever key that you need to pull. 
So I'm going to stop talking soon so I can get into these other videos. Look for them in the description as well as uh, some other videos I'm going to post uh, or links to videos I'm going to post with some of the best King tutorials that I've found. Uh, these ones, you know, they're from they're from the best. There's no uh, there's no bull crap in them. They get straight to the point, and uh, they're definitely more about concepts and less about tools. But if you guys are worried about like if you're new to King altogether, this probably isn't the best video to uh, to watch. I would try to go to the Foundry's uh, website and go to uh, training or or wherever that section is. I'll post that in the link and just um. Just get your get your uh, foundation first. You know, know how to use a few of the keyers before going going to these advanced steps. This is truly advanced, and I have not encountered a kink tutorial yet that goes into this much depth. So this is why I want to do it. Uh, I hate reinventing the wheel. So hopefully you learn a ton of stuff in here that you would not have otherwise learned. Um, so I'm gonna stop it now. Uh, keep watching.